Following the government's move last week to buy out the remaining 50% stake held by ESA Energy in the Kenya Pipeline Refineries Limited, it now seems Kenya will not be engaging in oil refinery business any soon. Having seized oil refinery business in September 2013, Petroleum Principal Secretary Andrew Kamau notes that Kenya has enjoyed a supply of petroleum products at lower rates than before. We looked at, of course, our own refinery in Mombasa, and it was not economical. You know, we, were, we the public, were subsidizing that that refinery, two shillings and 70 cents per liter, just to keep it going, additional to your price. We've looked at it, we need at least 300,000 barrels per day refinery to make sense. In the region, you know, we live in a very tough neighborhood. We've got the Saudis together, they have maybe 4 million barrels per day. We've got India with Reliance, 1.2 million barrels per day. They can deliver fuel to us cheaper than we can refine it. Kenya Pipeline Company Managing Director Joe Sang says the launch of another pipeline in Sinadet in Nakuru to Kisumu has helped acquire back its lost oil market share in the region following competition from Uganda. He says this will boost efforts to ferry oil via the lake to Uganda and Rwanda. The commissioning of Sinadet Kisumu will be able to at least recoup the lost market share in our neighborhood and also the western Kenya. It will be able to serve the region of Kisumu Eldoret, Migori areas, and um, it's more than that point the capacity. It will also enable us to what the peers talked about earlier, which is invest in an oil jetty in Kisumu. Oil jetty is the small vessels that will be able to transport fuel via our natural resource, which is the lake. Kenya Pipeline Company plans to build additional oil pipelines in six other counties to reduce the cost of fuel transportation. And we are looking to default the pipeline closer to Wanjiku. So we'd be looking to move to at least five to six counties in the next 10 years. With many Kenyans enrolling for oil and gas courses, institutions that are not well equipped to offer the courses have been warned against admitting students. Courses that are being uh, offered by other universities is concerned. Uh, universities that were not traditionally offering scientific courses went into it. There has been a problem, but I think it is being sorted. And, but the pace at which it is being sorted perhaps can be uh, enhanced. They are speaking during a public lecture on opportunities in the oil and gas sector at the University of Nairobi. Nicholas Ndwati, Nuzawa Business.